All right, welcome back to the Vessel Three. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. All right, I've already done my prayer and protection, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I have some channel messages here for you guys, so we're going to start with those and see what we have. Okay, so the name Nina could be very significant. All right, you could be a valedictorian. All right, you're very victorious at this time. You have self mastery in something. You could be a love counselor as well, or you have mastery in like love doctor. Like you love to watch love doctor. You're just you're very um healing energy. You you attract a lot of people that that need help within love. All right, and you've you've mastered this. All right, in some degree, you've mastered self-love within yourself. All right, you're maturing at this time. All right, you are able to show more compassion for yourself and others. Your heart chakra, I'm hearing, is being busted wide open, but more like a crackling of a seedling. All right, make sure you're not prolonging the process because that's what's going to help illuminate more love within your life and transform the perception of how you see love and how you give and receive love. The song Soldier by Beyonce could be very significant. Um, what's the song? Uh, I need a soldier. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know, look it up by Beyonce, but it basically talks about, you know, the type of man, the type of woman that you want, you know, by your side. And I feel like you have somebody that is like that, that is your soldier, okay? You want someone who has your back, okay? Or you're attracting this energy towards you. If you're not in, re in a relationship, you are attracting someone who will be your soldier, okay? Somebody can listen to that song by Beyonce. This person will stand up for you, okay? They're not playing about you, all right? You could have a dang for hood girls or hood boys, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with a little dang, all right? Or this is um this person uh does whatever we can go vote to whatever is a hood love okay but i'm um, getting um you could be meeting okay yeah somebody's name could be cody as well all right or you could be meeting somebody named cody this could be a prediction all right you could have not met this person yet but somebody could introduce themselves to you and their name will be cody and it's gonna be like I need a soldier, okay? But, um, yeah, you're highly protected at this time where this relationship you're in now or will be in that you're attracting towards you is going to be very protected. I see justice coming within this situation or this relationship is your justice. It's a part of your good karma, all right, during this lifetime, all right? You were, um... In your life, you had to adapt to different environments, cultures, diversities, personalities, people, all right? And, and, and because of that, that is one of your gifts. That's one of your, it could be, um, you could look at it as a survival instinct or other people do, but it's more so you just have the ability to adapt um, anywhere. Whatever people throw at you, you're, you're able to handle it. Wherever you are at, you're able to make the best of, of what you're at, but you're not able to make the best of it. You're able to make beautiful things out of nothing. That's what you do. All right, so there's there's nothing you need to change about yourself when it comes to that specifically. I'm getting like period. All right, yeah, because nobody knows what you've been through, walked in your shoes, or what you have to experience. So I really am getting like f them. Um, you're 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 the warrior. You be fearless and stand strong in who you are, and tell them to worry about themselves because you 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 can't nobody walk a mile in your shoes. All right. You are who you are because of what you've been through. Hold the space. Um, there's, there's. You don't need to make any sudden movements, but I'm really seeing this more as you don't need to make any sudden changes about yourself. If you love yourself the way that you are, all right, and God continues to bless you and God judges you and likes the work that you're putting in on yourself and where you're at and what you're doing, then, then who cares? All right, trust in the higher forces, all right? There's a need to trust in your ancestors, your spirit guide, God, that they're going to take you to this place. You have a, a, a deep connection with God, the, the Father in the sky, God Father. Trust in the unknown. That's two cards saying that you need to trust in the unknown because although we've blessed you with multiple gifts and you've been there a lot and you've seen a lot, there's still some things that you can't see that you can't control, but understand we got it under, under control always. Even when you feel you're out of control and losing control, we always got it under control. Some things could have been exposed, all right? um last moon cycle or will be exposed okay all right some things could be exposed this summer okay or they, a lot of things could be happening this summer all right that's going to help you know somebody that's yeah it's going to help balance out your emotions all right so somebody could be expressing how they feel their deep emotions all right this is going to help you connect within your soul and how you truly feel on an emotional level emotional um intelligence stability stimulation all right so trust within yourself trust this path trust your mission all right and choose the direction that's best for you and trust that this will thrive 
all right? Some of you guys could be reading the Bible, all right? A lot of mountains you had to climb, but as the warrior, you stood strong and you climbed those mountains, okay? You did what you had to do and you got there, all right? A lot of people try to break you down, but can't everybody... All right, a lot of people try to break you down, but they don't understand what you had to go through and what it took you to take care of your needs or to, to get to where you're at. A lot of people just, exactly, a lot of people just see your success, just see you enjoying your growth and reaping your rewards, but they ain't see you plant that seed. They ain't see when that tree went there. They ain't see the dirt that you had to lay in to be able to pick the fruit, okay? So continue, so you, they, 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 you, you're, 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 you're extremely protected, all right? And you're planting more seeds for yourself, okay? So you can drop your shield. You don't have to feel on guard with people, right? Because you're highly protected, okay? And, and, and you don't have to feel bad for enjoying the fruits of your labor. Because you're deserving of it. That's why God blessed you with it, all right? You're growing within your situation. You're extremely wise. You can sing a lot of owls, a lot of crows, all right? And you're just... You're being guided to, to shake hands with your deepest, darkest fears, all right? Because through that, then can they really work, mold, purify, and help expand your heart. They're comforting you, sending you a lot of love. One, one, one. For some of you guys, new love. This is love from God. This is God sent love. God sent this love. God put this together. You're manifesting this. You're creating with the co-creator. And this is protected. Can't anybody take this? It's time to see things from a higher perspective. You're learning how to give and receive love through tracking down your fears and desires so that you can track down what you truly desire and understand there's nothing to fear but God. Because that's who's truly taking care of your needs and protecting your heart and your desires. So there's, there's a need to trust your instincts to trust who's truly backing you. Because there's a whole force, a whole army behind you. It's time to shift your perspective. Okay, and embrace the energy of peace. You can be holding on to a lot. Be brave and honest with it, with it in the reverse. It's time to be honest within yourself and be courageous and brave. You can be feeling like you're holding on to a lot. Or holding on to a lot in your mind, a lot gets into your mind. This is due to you feeling you were alone, but you were never alone. You're never alone. That's the honest truth. If we're going to talk about brave and honesty, you're never alone. You are bits and little pieces of not only the universe, the earth, but your ancestors and the Christ-like power that was placed inside of you. And that's what's being exposed at this time. There's a need to connect more with your intuition, your divine femini or feminine, femininity, right? And set your standards higher, not only for yourself, but, you know, what's your, you know, your boundaries, what you're going to take and what you're not going to take, right? But through a lens of compassion, because being able to show compassion for yourself, you're then being able to show compassion for others. All right, there's no need to lose. Don't, don't lose touch of your dreams, okay? You have a lot of dreams, a lot of goals, a lot of visions, and you will get there. A lot of you guys are going to get there um, this summer. Maybe you expected to get there, you know, last winter. But that was a time to prioritize. That was a time I'm hearing maintenance, recovery, healing. Summer, now you get to, to, to bask in the joy and light. Now you get to just be. And that's why they're mad, because you're surrounded. And you, then you surrounded yourself with an air of protection. They know they can't get to you. They're going to have to watch you eat. And don't, have to, and don't you ask for a plate. They're going to have to go to the most high and ask for a plate. And that's why they're really mad, because you are the wounded warrior. So there is a time to change your perspective, right? Some of you guys could be having visions tapping into more of your third eye, right? It's time to be fearless and stand strong in who you are and what you know. And you know that you're victorious. Stand charge and take authority. Lord, God, Lord Jesus, covered in the blood of Jesus, and what you are, took charge and authority. All right? It could be hard to move against the grain, to move beyond ancestral patterns with this being in the reverse. I'm here to take your time. All right? That's a part of your fears. But it's also a part of your desires. What you fear is also what you desire. 4, 4, 4 on the clock.
All right, and that's the honest truth with 444 representing honesty, justice, abundance, and things like that. All right, and you're still going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. All right, so continue connecting with the earth more, grounding yourself, giving yourself more love, surrounding yourself by love, and taking this time to recharge and awaken to more uh, consciously what your goals are, who you are in, in this journey, this path, your mission on life. And you get to choose. All right, so make the choice. You have free will, but you know you're being guided by multiple Multiple God, your ancestors, your spirit God, you can't choose wrong. And even when you do, this wheel changes, they'll redirect you. All right? So stand strong in who you are and what you know. And learn from the experiences. All right? And give yourself love. Let yourself enjoy and feel stable within love. All right? This is a part of your justice. You deserve to be loved. Because you are love. And so... You receive love, 555. Five, five. For some of you guys within a family with the number five, all right? For some of you guys, um, this is a change, but it's a change towards mercy and grace, all right? So release the toxicity, all right? And receive this love. All right, so that's what I have for you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you back for your next read. Peace.